so this is the video of solution of maharashtra board solution of question bank of maharashtra board so this chapter is chapter number 13 ac circuits so here we have long answer type of questions which carry four marks okay so here we have first question obtain the expression for the applied emf and the effective resistance of the circuit when alternating emf is applied to an lr circuit so here what we have lr circuit l stand for inductance and r stand for resistance so what we have to obtain expression for applied emf and effective resistance for this two we have to calculate so in your textbook they have given for lcr and they have given the effective resistance of that and in this question bank they have asked for lr circuit and cr circuit so what we are going to do we will consider first of all resistor of resistance r and inductor of inductance l so here this is inductor of inductance l and resistor of resistance r which is connected in series to apply this alternative emf so this is uh, ac power supply e is equal to e not sin omega t and have current i is equal to i not sin omega t so here you can see this l and r are connected in series so the current from this will be same at any point at any instant okay so the current will be same through this any element and have same amplitude and phase so the current is nothing but i not sin omega t now voltage across this two element will be different okay it will be differ by some phase relation that we are going to study so voltage across current by this phase angle in this uh, inductor it will be by phase difference 90 degree means voltage across this inductor of inductance l will going to leads leads the current by phase of 90 degree so here we have shown that is a pi by 2 degree so here we can see this how this is leads it leads that's why we have shown this voltage across inductor upward where i is flowing suppose in the direction of current uh, x axis and what we know voltage of inductor will be given by like just like ohms relation voltage is equals to current into resistance so voltage across inductor will be given by i xl where this is reactance xl is nothing but resistive nature of inductor so this is denoted by reactance is denoted by xl and similarly voltage across this resistor will be in phase with the current voltage will be in phase with the current i not so i not is the maximum current supplied by that ac supply so which will be in the direction of current so here you will see i have shown like this the current direction will be in this direction so the this also will be have same direction er also have also same direction okay so this is phasor diagram of lr circuit here you will find voltage at uh, inductor is lag, uh, is leading by 90 degree with respect to this i so from this diagram we can uh, solve applied emf we can find the applied emf so this is e not which is phi by that current so e not we can use here pythagoras theorem hypotenuse square is equal to addition of this side square so er square plus now this is parallel to this side so we can write el square so e r is nothing but ir current into resistance and similarly el is nothing but just now we have calculate uh, we have got i xl when we will substitute that you will get this relation and then we will do the squaring so i not square r square plus i not square plus xl square 
then we can take i common and we want to find this applied emf so e naught will be square root of this term i square will going to be taken out so i naught which is maximum current under root r square plus x xl square so this is the equation of emf now we want to the second half question is asking for effective resistance so we will take this i towards this left so we will get ratio e naught by i naught which will be equal to under root r square plus xl square so if we will compare this equation with v by i is equal to r like ohm's relation then what we can say this rhs is equal to this rhs means r is equal to under root r square plus xl square so this is called as effective resistance of lr circuit what we will call this as effective resistance of lr circuit now second question is also uh, based on uh, same this as this so this will be now this time we have cr circuit okay now this time we have cr circuit so cr circuit will going to obtain when we will uh, use ideal capacitor of capacitance c and a resistor of resistance r in a series with this ac supply now in this case this er again er is in same phase with the current i not both will be in same direction along positive x axis and this voltage across this capacitor voltage across this capacitor lags behind so that's why we have drawn this is downward direction voltage across this will going to be lag behind by 90 degree rotated clockwise through 90 degree from the direction of i not like this okay so here we have phasor diagram for this so here we can see this is in our previous question this was el now here we have only this part so here ec is lagging by 90 degree okay by 90 degree so again from this phasor diagram what we will get e not square e not square is equal to side square by using pythagoras theorem er square plus ec square ec voltage across capacitance emf across that capacitor so again we will substitute that value er is ir and ec is i xc that is uh, reactance of capacitor and then you will get e not is equals to i not r square plus xc square so this is uh, expression for applied emf then i will comes here when i will comes here you will get this relation again we are going we are going to compare it with this so you will find this is effective resistor for cr circuit okay this is effective resistance of cr circuit under root r square plus xc square so this can be obtained in your textbook we have relation lcr series circuit so in that expression if we will put now here what we can see here we have cr okay cr circuit how we have lcr so if i put xc uh, xl 0 i will get this relation and if in our previous case if we will say capacitance is absent so reactance of that capacitance will be zero and we will get our previous relation this is our last question from long answer type question obtain expression for resonant frequency of lcr inductor capacitor resistor series circuit and explain the electrical resonance in an lcr series circuit so here we have to first of all consider the lcr series circuit means inductor of inductance l capacitor of capacitance c and resistor of resistance r are connected in series with this ac power supply which drawn maximum current okay so that circuit is called as lcr series circuit now the impedance z of this circuit is given by z is equals to means the, the total resistance offered by this circuit total resistance offered by this circuit is nothing but impedance and that will be given by under root r square plus omega l minus 
वन बाय ओमेगा सी स्क्वेर ओमेगा एंगुलर फ्रिक्वेंसी एल इंडक्टन्स सी कैपेसिटन सो ये यू विल फाइंड एल वी हैव सी वी हैव एंड आर वी हैव सो दिस इज द इम्पिडेंस ना एट अ वेरी लो फ्रिक्वेंसी इंडक्टिव रिएक्टन्स एक्स एल इंडक्टिव रिएक्टन्स एक्स एल विल बी इक्वल टू ओमेगा एल एट वेरी लो फ्रिक्वेंसी एक्स एल विल बी इक्वल टू ओमेगा एल एंड इट इज निग्लिजिबल बट इन केस ऑफ कैपेसिटिव रिएक्टन्स विच इज डिनोटेड बाय एक्स सी इज इक्वल टू वन बाय ओमेगा सी इट इज वेरी वेरी हाई ओके सो दिस फैक्टर विल बी निग्लिजिबल एंड दिस फैक्टर विल बी वेरी हाई सो एज वी इंक्रीज द अप्लाइड फ्रिक्वेंसी देन एक्स एल विल गोइंग टू बी इंक्रीज इफ वी इंक्रीज द फ्रिक्वेंसी दिस विल गोइंग टू इंक्रीज एंड दिस विल गोइंग टू बी डिक्रीज मीन्स दिस टर्म विल गोइंग टू बी इंक्रीज एंड दिस टर्म विल गोइंग टू बी डिक्रीज एंड एट सम फ्रिक्वेंसी वी विल बी हैव वन फ्रिक्वेंसी एट विच बोथ विल बी सेम ओके दैट कॉल एज रेजोनेंट एंगुलर फ्रिक्वेंसी मीन्स एक्स एल एक्स एल विल बी इक्वल टू एक्स सी इंडक्टिव रिएक्टन्स विल बी इक्वल टू कैपेसिटिव रिएक्टन so when we will do that and we will substitute the value we will get here r stand for that resonance omega r l is equal to 1 by omega r c so here you will find there is no any difference just r we have written because of uh, we will get the same uh, reactants that's why so if i square this term omega r bracket square means if i send this omega there and l is here what i will get omega r square is equals to 1 by lc and omega so 2 pi this uh, omega r is nothing but uh, 2 pi f so what we can do we can substitute here 2 pi f instead of this omega r here fr is uh, uh, this fr is resonant frequency so we can take a square root on both sides so we will get 2 pi fr is equal to 1 by root lc so fr will going to be this 2 pi will comes here so fr will be equal to 1 by 2 pi root lc so fr is resonant frequency at this frequency uh, xl means reactive inductive reactance is equal to capacitive reactance and we get impedance means total resistance offered by that uh, circuit will be equal to only resistance offered by this resistor when z will be uh, that uh, frequency at that frequency the whole resistance offered by this circuit will be equal to resistance offered by this resistor so that call as least value of impedance least value of impedance and circuit is said to be resonant so that's when impedance of lcr circuit is equal to r we can say that circuit is purely resistive okay that's means current and voltage are in phase and hence current will be given by e not by z is equal to e not by r because z is equal to r which is maximum current and this condition of lcr is called as resonant condition and this frequency is called as resonant frequency that's why we have definition for resonant circuit a circuit in which inductance l capacitance c and resistance r are connected in series and current admit maximum current corresponding to the given frequency of ac is called lcr series resonance circuit